snakes, then fly away towards my abbey with it. Now, to return to my abbey and place Medusa's head on my headstand, then command her to tell me where Sodal's Spectre is. I must fly directly to it. Medusa, where is Solo Spectre? After Medusa reveals to McAdoo where Solo Spectre is, McAdoo says, How appropriate! Solo Spectre is in church. I feel that someone is watching me. Therefore I must leave this holy place to discover who or what it is. While in church, Solo Spectre's astral power of vision lets him know that someone or something was watching him. So he left the church he was in, in order to find out who or what is was that was stalking him. It seems that its astral force is emitting from this direction. Solo Spectre's stalking quest led him past the Carpathian Mountains to where Mac A. Du's Abbey lay. Once there he searched for the source of his premonition. When Solo Spectre stumbled across Mac A. Du and Medusa, he was surprised to see Mac Adu because he was the last one to imprison Mac Adu on a desolate island near the Mediterranean Sea. Nevertheless, Mac Adu ordered Medusa to astral concussion beam attack Solo Spectre by using her head snakes as a type of astral energy beam. Medusa, 
some useful spectrum by using your concussion beam. <laughs> When she did, she caught Solo Spectre off guard, so he fell to earth like a heavy stone. Mac Adu seized the moment by further ordering Medusa's head to astral trap and seal Solo Spectre up in a constrictor-type coil so that he could astral battle him into submission. You are right where Magadu wants you. Grounded, that is. At last. Fool. You are no match for my head snakes. Look. See how I have commanded them to grab you one at a time. Until I can restrain you. And, with your capture, I turn you over to McAdoo, for further punishment. McAdoo. Not to be a party pooper but, your astral spells mean nothing to me. <laughs> See, I am free. I think not. In fact here is your spell back. I have other spells to cast upon you. For example, come fly with me. No thanks. I much rather fly by myself. And I much rather fly in a primordial bubble. In fact, I like how this works. Look how easily I can fire my astral aura energy at you, but you cannot fire back at me. And so, you fool, I have grounded you once again. But now that you have disintegrated your bubble, I can discharge a cosmic blast at you that will cause your fall. No, 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 back down, 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 you fool. Now, rise up, 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 into my electric shock field, where you will meet your doom. Once you are totally inside it, I will transport you to my abbey, in order to finish your annihilation. Let's go. your knees I will only to rise up and blast you with my repulsor rays <laughs> an X 
excellent offensive move, but it will not prevent your defeat. As you can see, I still control you by casting onto you some of my energy blast concentric circles. I must free myself from his circles before more of them hit me and I become paralyzed. Fool! No matter what you do, you will never escape me! Makadoo, I am sorry to disappoint you, but I am already free from your treachery. The way to stop Makadu is to return the head of Medusa to its tomb. So I will leave this place in order to return Medusa's head to her lair. There. Below me is Makadu Abbey. And to the right of it is Medusa's head. I must firmly grab it by its top main snake to remove it from its headstand. Then fly it to Medusa's tomb. Now to place it in Medusa's treasure chest in order to return to my battle with Makadu.